Hello everyone, and welcome to the second week of July 2023 Railfin Updates and Announcements. First off, the Nickel Plate Express in Noblesville, Indiana began a restoration project on EMDGP9 number 200. It is anticipated the locomotive's restoration will be done by this fall. Click on the link below in the description box and purchase your tickets to ride the Nickel Plate Express excursion slash events today. Next, a GoFundMe page has been made to raise funds to Sam Blast and Prime Baltimore and Ohio Caboose C2493 at the Rochester and Genesee Valley Railroad Museum. $4,000 is needed to cover the costs and the time I made this video, over $800 has been raised. Click on the link below in the description box and make your donations to this caboose today. In Eastern Kentucky, Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation will have its third annual whistleblow event on Saturday, October 7th of 2023 at 12.30 p.m. You can even bring your own steam whistle to this event for only $25. There will also be steam train rides and BD Engineer experiences with Jettle Coal Company number 85. Click on the link below in the description box and purchase your tickets today. A short line railroad in New York State, the Finger Lakes Railway, resumed its public excursion program. The railroad will offer trips between Canandaigua and Clifton Springs, New York. With only one RDC car for the excursions, seating is limited. Canandaigua is about a 30 minute drive from Rochester and about a 90 minute drive from both Syracuse and Buffalo, New York. Click on the link below in the description box and purchase your tickets for the upcoming summer and fall excursions today. We have very exciting news from the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society. With the help from Progress Rail, Nickel Plate Road SD9 number 358 has completed its overhaul and will be placed into service soon. Coming in September 9th and 10th of 2023, TrainFest 2023 will take place in Los Angeles Union Passenger Terminal. TrainFest will happen from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on both days. And as you can already see, Santa Fe 484 Steam Locomotive number 3751 will participate at TrainFest 2023. Click on the link below in the description box to learn more about this event. We then head over to the Midwest where Union Pacific Challenger 3985, 210 25511, and Centennial Diesel Locomotive number 6936 are being worked on to be returned to operation. For UP 5511, the firebox will soon be inspected. Safety valves are being rebuilt and Dynamo has also been removed temporarily. UP3985 also had its safety valves removed and will soon be rebuilt. With new lube lines to be made soon. Cylinders and valve heads will be cleaned and inspected. Also, 3985's front flue sheet is being prepped for removal and replacement. Even 4014's tender has been receiving attention as well, as brand new wheel sets arrived at the Silvis Complex. Click on the link below in the description box and make your donations towards these projects today. Over at the Keystone State, there will be a rail fest at Tomaqua, and folks can take a train ride from Reading Outer Station to the Tomaqua Festival and back on a full day round trip. Click on the link below in the description box and purchase your train tickets on the Reading and Northern today. Up next, Trains Magazine has organized another photo charter this year, but this time at the Osceola and St. Croix Valley Railway on September 11th and 12th of 2023. This photo charter will feature Great Northern, Sioux Line, and Burlington Northern diesel locomotives. Click on the link below in the description box and purchase your tickets for this special event today. And lastly, we have big updates and announcements from the Nashville Steam Preservation Society in Tennessee. Number 576 has reunited with its newly built drivers, bearing boxes, and running gear. Then, on September 16th of 2023, the Tennessee Central Railway Museum will have a fundraiser train to benefit the restoration of Number 576. Click on the link below in the description box and purchase your tickets for the fundraiser excursion as well as making your donations towards 576 today. Thank you so much for watching this video and showing your continued support for this channel and for rail preservation. Give this video a like, comment your excitement down below, and also share this video to spread awareness on rail preservation. 
I also highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel and click on the receive all notifications option so you won't miss out on another Railfin updates and announcements video every Saturday morning. Don't forget to check out my other social media pages including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Again, thank you all so much for watching. This is Transcontinental Railfin and I'll see you all next time.